Well, good evening, people of grace. I am on my back porch again and coming to you with our Thursday Pastoral Connect. And I want to take just a couple minutes to really land in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23 and 24. And those verses say, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. I want to talk for about being on mission. And I want to kind of hop back to a proverb. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 29 says, A man's spirit can endure sickness, but a broken spirit who can endure? And this idea of a broken spirit is the same idea that Paul's talking about when he says encourage the faint-hearted. It's someone whose soul has kind of shrunk within them and, you know, you can almost say withered. And that's Paul saying we have to encourage these people. And he rattles off a bunch of things right before talking about how God is sanctifying us. He's making us holy. He's restoring us. And that whole passage uh, is the part that includes encouraging the faint-hearted. But he starts with this idea of first admonishing the idol. And idol can just mean lazy. But the idea is really they're not uh, finding their place in the work of the kingdom um, and so they might be lounging around but it's really related to inside they have a turmoil of soul so they're out of order they're out of place and that's why he talks about being at peace among yourselves and then says admonish the idol uh, this idea of being in this well-ordered place internally um, so that you don't end up overwhelmed internally and in accomplishing nothing. The whole idea of this passage is challenging the Thessalonians to be on mission. But what does that mean? Um, a lot of times you think about on mission as achieving certain results in other people's lives, and that's important. We're told to make disciples. But the best way that we make disciples is ultimately to be healthy souls ourselves. And so how we kind of cooperate with God in becoming a sanctified soul is by uh, challenging people to be not idle, but to be tactically, that, that the tactics of life, to be tactical. It, that, the sense of being idle is you're not living in a well-ordered, disciplined, on-mission way. Your tactics are bad. Um, and uh, believers need to be tactical in how they live. Um, but they can't do that if they lose heart. Um, and so in a time of sickness, today, Paul would remind us, we can bear sickness, but we can't, you know, bear sickness, or Solomon remind us that we can bear sickness, but we can't bear sickness well if we lose heart, if we, if our souls wither within us. So we have to stay active and living on mission, not being idle. We can intentionalize helping the weak and then being patient with everybody, being long-suffering with everybody. And in stressful times, our patience wears thin and we get more and more shrill um, with people that see things differently than us. Um, and Paul's making a point of saying, be patient with everybody. Do good, rejoice always. And he's leading up to this idea of being sanctified. And that's the, just the two things I wanted to talk about related to sanctification. He says, may the God of peace, Paul started this whole section with, be at peace with one another. How do we get there? How do we line up with this God of peace? Admonish the idol, encourage the, um, the, the, the discourage the ones whose souls are withering. Be patient with everybody, quite literally long suffering, processing things emotionally well. And as we do that, then we're coming into alignment with the God of peace who has made a promise to sanctify us completely and in our whole 
spirit, soul, and body. And the idea of completely is we'll be brought wholly into our purpose. And as our whole being comes into alignment um, with that purpose, then that's God sanctifying us completely by our whole spirit, soul, and body. Uh, coming to alignment with his purposes in the whole spirit, soul, and body. The idea of whole there is your inheritance. That your entire lot, your inheritance, would be restored. The worst thing that has happened to us in the Garden of Eden is we lost the inheritance God has given us, which wasn't really the Garden of Eden. It was our souls, our own being. And when that gets restored, then we can prosper inwardly, even in a fallen and cursed world. So uh, be encouraged and live tactically, live on mission. Uh, try to help the weak. Uh, make sure that you are patient with everyone. Don't uh, make any excuses for your own loss of patience. I need to not make any excuses for my loss of patience and just be patient because my whole soul is coming back together. I'm discovering my inheritance, the inheritance that God gave me, God's first gift to yourself, and the gift that was lost was your own soul. So bring that inheritance back into alignment, and that's how we find peace, even in a pandemic. I hope that encourages you. Don't let your soul wither. Uh, find the God of peace and enjoy your evening.